So this is where I work with the two presses, the ink and engraving on the main table. When you're engraving, you're actually turning the block into the tool as much as your hand, you see. I tend to have several blocks that I'm working on at the same time. They're, they're all up there. That's a set of prints for a book of poems by Caroline Duffy. There we are, there's Demeter, that way up. And Medusa. I've always worked in this way, often with up to about 10 blocks at a time. Because I like to work very freely on the block, I don't enjoy having a completed design and then engraving it. That's too mechanical and can be quite boring. So it's just a rudimentary idea that I get onto the block and then work it out as I go. And when I'm stuck or I'm not sure what to do next, I put it aside and work on a completely different block and then perhaps some days, even weeks later, I know how to do the next bit mm -hmm. and work on, on that one again. This is the one I finished last. I don't know if you can see it on the block at Herculaneum. This is the sketch I did on the spot. And this is a poor print of it. It didn't come out, but you can see how the print has enlarged the important part, which is the excavation. I've kept the profile of the Vesuvius and I've reduced the warehouses that were at the front. These were the ones that were found full of skeletons. And once I've got that impression I've got everything else in my head and I work it out, I develop it on the block. So the block would be put underneath there inked mm -hmm. and paper, then that cover goes over and it gets wound in. And then the arm pulls across with the counterweight going up. Small mm. pause called the dwell. And then that goes over and then you wind it all out again. I can't believe this, that's a whole huge beautiful beast and it just does that simple action. Well it was made in 1856 and they've never improved on it. With all modern technology this still does the best job. But I only use that one for making bigger prints. Uh, most of the time I use the little Albion. working on rounds of wood. You can see the bark still on and that shows the way that you're working on the end grain. Yeah. And the, the round blocks always split, so I've actually incorporated the split into the design. You can see that that one was about animals released from the ark, so they're all tearing through but it's really nice working on these big rounds, um, but they're almost impossible to get hold of. This is one that's in the exhibition of Coteal. So there's the house. There are substitutes. You can use various plastics, even Corian, the stuff they use for kitchen counters, makes a fabulous substitute for wood. Um, 
because the wood's quite expensive. I mean, I can see a price on that, 17 pounds for a piece, and this one was about 200. So you have to take courage when you dive into it and hope you're not ruining a lovely piece of wood. Mm -hmm.